War rages across the mortal realms. New alliances are formed while others lie shattered, and the dominant powers ever seek their next conquest. As these two powerful forces prepare to clash, only one will rise victorious when the dust settles. While this and countless other battles rage on, one fact is becoming clear. The season of war has begun. This video is brought to you by the support of our channel members and the FLGS partners, Warfire Minis and X-Planet. Hello and welcome to Season of War! Tonight we are excited to bring you another game of Age of Sigmar. A couple exciting things on the table today for numerous reasons. <laughs> uh, various levels of excitement. Like, I painted up some new terrain pieces. Yeah! Not new terrain pieces, but freshly painted. So, little thing, but always working away in the background. Yeah. But before we jump into things, there are a couple of big announcements to make. Um, firstly, we want to give a big thank you to Games Workshop for giving us access a copy of the new uh, Slanesh Battle Tome. Also, used for, we did Torn last week, so excited to get the Slanesh book on the table yeah. um, and the Slanesh army on the table uh, because we've actually never had Slanesh on the channel before. At all. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm working on painting up and building an army right now. Uh, thanks to Jordan from Warfighter Minis, actually, for who helped supply a ton of those models for the army. Yep. So working away on those. But the, the third big thank you is uh, to our buddy Dave, who actually lent us uh, this Slanesh army, or most of it, um, to be able to run this and preview the book. So yeah. um, I know he's oh, eager to see the new Battle Tome. Um, so hopefully I can give it a good showing for him. So Dave, thank you again for letting us uh, take your army for a spin. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love the colors. Yes, nice. very ridge-like. <laughs> Bright blue and green, or purple. Yep. And then lastly, just want to give a little shout out to our buddies over at uh, SoCal United, <laughs> uh, repping this shirt that I just got in today from them. So, um, Big shout outs to our friends over there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got the tough ground on too. Yeah. <laughs> Always repping. But uh, looking at this mission today, we're playing twists and turns. So we got five objectives across the tabletop. Uh, this is a bit of a wild mission. So uh, it's going to be a roller coaster uh, between learning new armies and Hopefully not getting roasted by Thankful. Yes, um, I haven't played this one very often because you rarely yes. see it in events. Yes, but. yes, but um, the objectives can turn on and off. It's normal yeah. hold one, hold two, hold more. On a four up, at the end of your turn, objectives that you control turn off. On a four up, they turn back on if you control them at the start of your turn. Yep. Uh, you get plus one to the roll if you have a Galatian champion on them, and then battle tactics, grand strategies as normal. normal. Yep. And then jump into the armies. Ridge, do you want to take us through your Skaven list first? Yes, of course. I am back on the Skaven kick. Been painting up a lot of stuff lately. Um, just got Thankwell done, so I have to run them. So I'm running Thankwell, four Warpfire Brazers, as you do. Uh, I got the um, Vermilord Warbringer. He's got the Devious Adversary and the Warpstone Charm for minus one save and plus two attacks. Yeah, attacks first. Uh, we got the Smash Rat. Had to bring the Smash Rat <laughs> out. See if he can some, do some, uh, some crazy damage. Just the Claw Lord with the Arcane Tome. Um, and then we have a Master Molder because you never don't run one of those when you have four Rat Ogres, um, 30 Storm Vermin, and 20 Clan Rats. Nice. So yeah, not a crazy amount of models as you usually see. It's yeah. a lot more kind of damage. Fairly uh, elite. Yeah, and then five Gutter Runners as well just because yeah. it's nice to have a Deep Strike. Uh, and then I do have the Geminids um, to hopefully turn off some, some redeploys and, yeah. and some other uh, things and then uh, the Laoshan, Thankful Skateboard. Laoshan the Soul Seeker. Laoshan, yeah. So yeah, should be fun. Nice. Well, as we said then, jumping into my list, I am playing Slanesh Knight and I am playing Pretenders as my sub faction. So this is actually great for giving um, my army when I have my general on the table. Instead of one CP at the beginning of turns, I get three CP. Yeah. And nice. then my general can issue a command to three units anytime he issues a command. Um, so that's like nine times the amount of normal CP <laughs> usage potentially. Yeah. But then jumping through the units in my army, I have uh, for battle line, I have three units of Bliss Barb Archers. So I'm pretty much all mortals here in the list today. Yep. I have a unit of Myrmidesh Painbringers uh, reinforced. So 10 guys in that unit. Uh, so they're pretty tanky going up to three up save now. Yeah. So hopefully they can, uh, cool. they're like budget chaos chosen. <laughs> uh, so hopefully they can they can do a respectable, respectable amount of work like chosen do. Then I have two units of Slip Blade Seekers, some of my favorite models in Slanesh, yeah. so excited to run these guys today. I also have a unit of five Bliss Barb Seekers, 
And that rounds out all my units. Uh, then I have a fairly large hero loadout as you want to do often. I'll start things off with the Contorted Epitome, who is my general. He's got the command trait, Strength of Godhood. And then the Epitome has the Crown of Dark Secrets as the artifact, uh, Soul Slice Shards as his spell, mm -hmm. and Fueled by Durish Rage as his aspect of the champion. Yep, uh, I'm back. Yeah, hopefully come back to life. He's pretty tanky with the Mortal Wound save. and Yeah, he's and an amazing stuff. GC, as you can saw at the beginning of the edition. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I have Sigvald, who hopefully can bring the pain today. <laughs> um, the glorious prince himself. And then I have a shard speaker of Slanesh as another little wizard. Yep. And rounding things off, I have the new hero, the Lord of Hubris. Yeah. Excited to get this guy on the table. Uh, there's a bunch of cool abilities in this army yeah. on some of the heroes. You So I would have loved even more heroes in this list, yeah. but um, that's where we're at today. So hopefully he can do some work just painted that model His ability is sweet. Yeah. And just the temptation. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be fun. So, Slanesh seems like they're gonna be very fun now, so. Yeah, so I'm really excited. Obviously, you are too to see how this army plays. Yeah. Um, see if we can't tempt some rat rats into foolery. Um, not they have that you very need low willpower, yes, so I'm yeah. pretty sure we're taking it. But uh, here, Ridge, I was uh, four drops actually. You were five. Yep. So that gives me choice here. And um, as typical, I think I'm going to give away the turn here. Uh, hopefully, sense. rats can't do too much, but we'll jump into a Staven turn one. Let's go. Spilling forth from the gnaw holes, the Skaven battle tactic is Cunning Maneuver. Thankful fails heroic leadership, and Sigval uses heroic willpower. Thankful miscasts Death Frenzy and suffers one mortal wound. Plus four to cast didn't help you there, did it? The Claw Lord casts Mystic Shield on Storm Vermin. The Vermin Lord Deceiver casts the Geminids of Ulkish, then Dreaded Frenzy on the Storm Vermin. The Master Molder cracks the whip on the Rat Ogres. Whoosh. The Master Molder uses at the double. The Gutter Runners deep strike to claim an objective. Swarming over the battlefield, the Skaven complete their battle tactic and score 5 points. Back from Skaven turn one, uh, started the turn amazing and miscast with Thankful. So all of my whole plans kind of went out the door. Yeah, great um, start, great start. Yeah, Loved wanted it. Death Frenzy on the Rat Ogres and I was gonna try to throw them in because we have the plus three charge. Um, so that didn't go off. I kind of just played a little bit more reserved, took the points, got de dreaded Death Frenzy twice on the Storm Vermin. Yep. So super scary there. And then just throw kind of Thankful in the middle. Nice. That's right. Yep. Jaina likes it too. But yeah, other than that, just kind of positioned, um, put Mystic Shield on the Storm Vermin as well. So they're a bit tougher. Here, do you want a purple one? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, nothing, no teleporting. Yeah. I decided to take the point here at the gutter runners instead of shooting as well. The worst part is Ridge didn't let me try and tempt him at all. Yeah. With any of my oh, that's temptation why you asked dice. If I was gonna do any shooting. Yeah, so. Uh, we'll get to do it hopefully at some point. I mean, yeah. on my turn, obviously, but... Yes, when I cast the boat and get into you, then yes. Yeah. Yes, do you want a green one? There you go. But yeah, I guess that's it for Steven turn, and we're into Slanesh turn one. Let's see. <laughs> Interrupted from their hedonistic activities, the Slanesh battle tactic is depraved unity. The contorted epitome fails heroic leadership while Thankwell succeeds. The contorted epitome has both overwhelming acquiescence and mystic shield unbound. The shard speaker has born of damnation unbound. 
the Bliss Barbs, Bliss Barb Seekers, and Lord of Hubris all use at the double. The Storm Vermin redeploy moving two inches. Don't forget, we still have our campaign going to get our Beasts of Chaos army painted. Toss over a super thanks if you want to chip in. The Bliss Barb Seeker split fire and deal one damage to the Storm Vermin and Rat Ogres. The first unit of Bliss Barbs kill five Storm Vermin and one more from Temptation. The next unit of Bliss Barbs kill one Storm Vermin, one Clan Rat, plus two more from Temptation. The last Bliss Barb kills the Gutter Runners and nine damage to the Rat Ogres after tempting both. The Slick Blade Seekers deal 12 damage to the Rat Ogres with a Temptation. The Clan Rats fight next, dealing 1 damage to the other Slick Blades. The Slick Blades deal 12 damage to the Clan Rats, converting it to Depravity with Euphoric Killers. The Rat Ogres fight back, but deal no damage. Thankwell uses Inspiring Presence on the Storm Vermin and Rat Ogres, but the Clan Rats flee. Savoring the discomfort of their foe, the Header Knights of Slanesh complete their battle tactic and score 4 points. All right, Slanesh turn one was awesome. Honestly, um, <laughs> I don't say that very often, but yeah. with whenever you play a new army, it's always a learning curve. And I actually dove into this one quite a bit in terms of just trying to get my head around the book. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the first game ever with Slanesh, so I don't know the army in general. I'm learning the army also at a new battle tome. Yeah, we've played um, So I don't even have like other people's conceptions to like lean on. You've played against it in tournaments, like yeah. against Slanesh. And well. and there isn't a traditional like bade unit that's gonna be doing like hammer with like everything's one damage here yeah. in, in this. Now Sigvald is, is obviously more, but it's kind of the like thematically death by a thousand cuts, which is one of their battle tactics. Yeah. Um, of doing damage with so many different units. Yeah. Um, here the uh, Bliss Barb Seekers are awesome because here they, anything they wound, it becomes minus one save for the rest yeah. of the turn. Amazing, shot with them first and then the Bliss Barbs were benefiting Splitting from it. Splitting shots too, so Splitting. both for minus one save. And so chipping good. from different units so I could also use my Temptation. Yes. Allowing me, I got all my Temptation dice out this turn. Yep. Um, Ridge didn't want to give me any depravity because of all the better, you know, the benefits I get. You uh, getting depravity, yeah. yeah. I killed one more rat here and there for yeah, mortals, it but it was maybe like... did you know seven, eight mortals over the turn, which isn't nothing. It's yeah, helped chip stuff good. down. The bliss um, barbs are just so much damage. But yeah, they were great. Little damage chipping here, you know, put them up to two rand basically. Yeah. Good amount of shots. Um, you know, threes and threes with because of the homunculus. Yep. And then um, can be twos as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then the minus one also translated to the slip blades going to combat, putting them at run three. Yep. Um, yeah. The rat odors aren't their best target, but there are you know even even one damage I got nine through or seven through another two in in from temptation. Yeah. And then the slip blades ha use the ability to generate depravity off of their attacks. 
So I did get up to 12 just because they did 12 damage this yes. turn. Um, the rest of the clan rats ran. Yeah. And yes, good job, buddy. Yeah. So super happy with all those things. Yeah. Um, puts us into a spicy into a spicy place for or priority. Jaina, what do you Jaina, want to would you like to roll the dice for daddy? We'll roll a nice pink AOS coach dice. You want to roll that one for daddy, please? I'm rolling the casino die. Can you roll this one? Where are you going to roll it? Over there? Yep, let's do it. Roll okay, it, Gina. Let's see. One, two, three, go. A three? Three Rich, as well. You win ties. Woohoo! Good job, Gina. Yep, so you had a choice. <laughs> yeah, I'm obviously going to go. Yep, sounds good. So we'll jump into Steven, turn two. Yipper. Already on their back paw, the Skaven battle tactic is eye for an eye. The Vermin Lord uses their finest hour, and Sigval uses heroic willpower to dispel the Geminids. Thanquil casts a launch in the Soul Seeker, then Death Frenzy on Storm Vermin. The Vermin Lord casts a dreaded Death Frenzy on himself and Claw Lord, but has Mystic Shield Unbound. The Claw Lord casts Flaming Weapon, then jumps in the boat with Launch Him. The Master Molder uses Tunnel Master. The Epitome redeploys, moving three inches, then Sigval moves five. The Bliss Barb Seekers also redeploy, moving five inches. Unleashing his warp fire, Thankwell deals 15 mortal wounds to the pain bringers. The Vermin Lord deals 2 damage to the Bliss Barbs, but takes 1 mortal from temptation. Ensuing forward to victory on himself and Vermin Lord, Thankwell and the Warbringer both fail their charges. That's not good. The Storm Vermin use Gnaw on their bones, but just deal 4 damage to the Slick Blades. The Slick Blades finish off the Rat Ogre and kill 6 Storm Vermin, who deal 1 damage in retaliation from Death Frenzy. The Claw Lord attacks and deals 3 damage to Epitome. Sigval deals 4 damage to the Storm Vermin. The Contorted Epitome deals 2 damage to both the Claw Lord and Storm Vermin. The Storm Vermin flee to Battle Shock while the Pain Bringers use Inspiring Presence. Paralyzed by Lurid Fascination, the Skaven fail their battle tactic, but at least score 3 points. Okay, so back from Skaven turn 2. Not what I really wanted <laughs> no. at the end of the day. No. Um, the Storm Vermin just did not do really the damage I thought they were going to with one Ren still, even against all of these guys. And there were a couple things at play there. Yeah, you're a minus one to hit for the entire army because you have so much depravity. Yeah, I even have first, 12. The first tier of depravity, yep. which is unbelievable against them because yep. I only have two CP. So the minus one attack from the mirror as well. Yes, the because of the, Vermin, the artifact I had targeted the Storm Vermin. Within so. six. Yep. So Heart, I, you could like... Hard Very hard to avoid. There. Yeah, yep. and I was already in there. I could have possibly if I stayed over here. But the, then even you're limiting your attacks. Yes. Right? So, yeah, maybe the play was just to go with them, but even that. So I was fours and threes. I had to do the Claw Lords plus one attack yep. so I could go back to two attacks each at least. And you managed to just stay outside of three of the epitome. Otherwise, you wouldn't even have oh, been able to use that. Yeah, because of the not having... Because it turns off CP. Really good. Such a good ability, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only three inches on that one, so it's not like... The you know some of the other armies that like Nurgle, yeah, notably, the seven inch, yeah, it's anything, much, it's much just bigger. unbelievable. Yep. Uh, you did roll really well too for their saves. So the storm vermin literally did like nothing, even on de on fight on death. Six damage in total. Didn't even kill the, the yep. second one either, yep. which was just so frustrating watching yep. it happen. Um, <laughs> and even more frustrating was 
I rolled a four on the Vermin Lord. Yep. We rolled to a double one. And you issued it from Thankful, which because meant he I could- a free extra one. He can issue it again. So he issued that as well. He failed his charge on a three or something, which I rerolled into a four. four. And so, you needed a five. Yeah. So, so both worst them, possible outcome for the charges over there. With all four, he's juiced up with double death frenzy, best day ever would have just annihilated that. Yeah. So, and now they're both just sitting there holding their <laughs> yeah. whatever out in the middle of the board, which isn't even active because these yes. two are deactivated. Yeah, but you hold this one and you, uh, because you teleported there with Telemaster yeah. and you already held that outside one. So Some you actually do get hold two and hold more. Yeah, So somehow I will still get good points here. Yeah. Um, and my tactic, oh, was- You would fail that because you did not kill a unit. That's you, right. They were the closest one. Yeah. Thank um, all, so he did, what did I do, 15? 15 mortals, so, so below average. Five under average, yeah. 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 Which that would have, exactly, should actually should, exactly On kill. average you kill them, but that's 50%, right? Yeah. So 50% and then need the charge as well. So yeah, just yeah. overall, like this yeah. is Warhammer for and, you. It's like, and like oh. amazing things we didn't even mention in turn one, but having so much CP for my general trait or the sub faction, amazing. Yeah. Now that's my whole sub faction is dedicated to that. Yeah. And then getting to issue three units, again, amazing. Redeployed three units, all of defense three units. So good. It's Potentially like inspire. Dogs one. In yeah. hindsight, I wish my epitome wasn't so far over there so it could be benefiting the whole army, but yeah. still really good. The, yeah, doing three is unbelievably good. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, Smash Rat went in and did a little bit of damage, but it was like, I, I wanted you to kill me back, but the epitome could allocate the three inch attacks through him yes. under the storm vermin. So yep. it killed more of them. Yeah. So I he didn't still want to kill on him, yeah, yeah. but who knows? You might just run away from him. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Coward. Uh, yep. Tactical. Yeah. But not not the turn yet you wanted to see him. That was so bad. I was <laughs> licking my lips after winning for IO, but yeah. Yeah. no. We'll see. Um, so yeah, let's jump back into it, going into Slanesh, turn two. Sounds good. Enraptured by the pain and pleasure of combat, the Slanesh battle tactic is death by a thousand cuts. The Epitome and Thankful both use their finest hour, but Epitome also strikes at the opening, killing the Claw Lord but dying in return from Death Frenzy. The Painbringers rally, returning one model. The Shard Speaker fails to cast Reflection Eternal. Enjoying our battle reports? Join our YouTube membership to support the channel and get an extra match every week. The Bliss Barb Seeker is used at the double. The Shard Speaker uses Twisted Mirror on the Vermin Lord. The Bliss Barb Seekers deal 2 damage to the Vermin Lord. A unit of Bliss Barbs deal 3 damage to the Vermin Lord. The next unit of Bliss Barbs use All Out Attack and deal 8 damage to finish off the Vermin Lord. The last unit of Bliss Barbs deal 2 damage to Thankwall. Sigval uses forward to victory, but fails his charge. Thankful fails his stomp. Just one of those games, huh? The Lord of Hubris uses you first, I insist, and Thankwell deals just two damage. The Slick Blades use all at attack and you forward killers, dealing four damage to Thankwell. The other Slick Blades deal two damage to Thankwell. Just piling in, huh? Very slanishy. The Lord of Hubris deals 5 damage to Thankwell, then the Painbringers finish him off. Taking a firm hold to the battlefield, the Head of Knights of Slanesh complete their battle tactic and score 5 points. Well, Slanesh turn two was 
pretty good. That was a, it's been a long game with only four turns so far. Yeah. And just so many activations and uh, interactions in that. Yes. Um, Lots of shooting and everything. Yeah. yeah. Starting off the turn, um, obviously noticed I went for the hero phase fight. <laughs> the reason, so the main thing I wanted was to kill him to free up my stuff so I could like move state vault and try and charge. Yes. And the mirror and everything. Exactly. Yeah. I wanted to be out of combat so I could put all my work into these two guys. Yep. I was hoping, I, I figured I would die in return, but I was hoping to roll the three up. To come back to, to life. To come back to life yeah, yeah, yeah. with Gersh Rage when the Claw Lord, if you went into him. Yeah. Didn't roll the three up, so. At least the Smash Rat did something yes. and did 12 damage to him and but fertilized him. It, it let me put the slick, or the, these Bliss Barbs into Thankful. Yeah. Um, and not that Sid Vault ended up making it, but um, that actually, Thankful wouldn't have died if not for that. Yeah, he just barely so died at the end. I yeah. could have been a little more efficient of like, Shooting, you know, moving out, shooting him in combat, even retreating to that point. Yeah. Moving over to this point, and going for points. But here, I might, if I can take out the big threats, yeah, it then matter. it doesn't. It, exactly, it doesn't matter. And it was big to take out the Warbringer before in shooting, because yes. then he couldn't do his double pile and yes. double fight on death. Though, um, it would be interesting to see the interaction of I would uh, use Lord of Hubris on him. That's right. So, he, so on those double activates, well, he would might, myrtleize that guy. Yeah, but on the double activates, I wonder how interesting to think about how, yeah. how those interactions. Would Either work. way, it would have ended because I would have. Uh, those are the only two things I had left. Yeah. But um, so yeah, I got it. Got as you said, got the big guy down and shooting, and yeah. then everything else just went into Thankful. It's pretty scary. Just like a bunch of things <laughs> yeah. circling but, these two but giant. We saw it's like heroes. those. You know, how many th thousands of points going into Thankful there and. and yeah, uh, there's only points. like, like here I didn't have any stacking minuses to save, so I actually struggled to t take him down, right? Yeah. Um, like, I got lucky in the end. It's not a great save. It Thankful, was something yeah. that but something the, that. The Warbringer, you. Yes, yeah. in shooting. But I'm just saying, it's like, you didn't with the kind of MSU and the stacking minuses to save. You're really good at taking down that one target. Yeah. But then pivoting to the second target in combat was more difficult. So yeah. that's where you'll. It'll struggle a bit. Something where if you had been a three-up save base with Finest Hour and had a CP left for all of defense. Yeah, or Mystic Shield, then you Mystic, might struggle. Then I, then I would not have taken him down, yeah. right? So, so low armor for sure, they do a lot yeah. more damage. You didn't explain, but yeah. So he got the little hero within nine, which is the yeah. one minus one to save. Rolled the then, four, that's a four-up, so not reliable. But, but rolled the four-up, and then yeah. the Bliss Barb uh, Seekers. Did uh, minus, is a, minus you know, one to save. Yeah, minus one to save because they did damage to they did two, I yeah, think, two, two as well. And then... And then my other Bliss Barbs were shooting at minus three rend. So it was a ten, essentially plus minus two. So you were minus three rend essentially yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. Which is spicy. Like yeah. The, and you had finest hour on your turn. So I couldn't do it there. To use it offensively, which yeah. meant, yeah, it opened him up. Yep. Well. Lots of Slanesh. Yes. My newly painted model syndrome and yeah. Slanesh's reveal. So yeah. they um, were. Lord of Hubris got to shine. Yeah, he got um, his ability too. Yeah, he to used his it. ability, made that goal fight first. Yeah. Tank the damage because he has a four up ward. And tank, he doesn't do much in combat. Yeah, with, no, exactly. So I wasn't too worried about it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he did his job. You know, opened it up for everybody else to come in and pile on. Yeah, and he didn't even die. Like no. he just said, like witness me, hit yeah. me, and then yeah. all the he other things took, just came in. Took three or f two damage. Yeah. He did. Yeah. So, yeah, can't complain about that. Um, I'll get, so actually, these two objectives are off. So you're actually just gonna get hold one. <laughs> yeah, I actually would have potentially turned this on at the start of my turn. Actually, both of them, because I oh, was it's on at them. the start, that's right. Yeah, yeah so yeah. on that one, would have turned on, cool. and this one, would have turned on. So there they all go. turn on, so I actually so two hold more. three, get two and more, exactly yeah. like you said. Get my battle tactic from shooting with Death by a Thousand Cuts. Yep. And, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> That's not much explanatory yeah, from here. Can, I have can, a little uh, master mold they're hanging out in the corner. Yeah, but. yeah. So, so uh, can jump into the post game, kind of look back. Yeah. I guess, obviously, looking at Sl Slanesh first, um, Ridge, you commented during the game that having looked at the book, mm -hmm. you, this was stronger than you thought. Yeah, well, I had a feeling it was going to be with everything kind of stacking yeah. on top of it. Like, it's just so fast. Everything's so fast. There's a lot of shooting. Bliss Barb's getting, hitting on threes now, and then threes with the yeah. homunculus, going to twos and threes if you want to, like unbelievably. Potentially to three units. Yes, yeah. and that, exactly. Having the, being able to do that with three units. And again, this kind of list that I'm playing, shooting is very good against like the storm vermin and things that have death frenzy because you don't have to engage them, them to kill them yeah so yeah from that aspect it was was 
crazy good. Yes. But yeah, it's gonna be, you know, highly mobile. All the stack move minus ones, the yeah. save was awesome. It's extremely yeah. fragile. Um, now- But minus one to hit. Minus one to points. hit once you get the 12 points. Yeah. Um, definitely is very big. Yeah. Uh, we didn't see really that much. Of, I didn't take any of the deals, really. Like the no, deep, like, no. Gravity. You, well, you were taking the mortals though. Because it was like. And then the net, yeah, this next turn on my turn two here, mm -hmm. I didn't even want to offer it because you're going to give me the depravity, right? Yeah. So because exactly. you don't care about anything, you just want to live. Yeah. So. So, but it will be interesting. It'll be like funny in in, in yeah. games to to see that, like when you know when people see, take it. Yeah, like, when you're like, oh, should I? Like you have to risk it because you might die. And if I you think do it. it I was, I didn't know if I liked your strategy of giving them all, like just taking the mortals. Yeah. Um, now I think in hindsight, yeah, that was the right play. With the because rats. Because think if I had gotten like, that was what, at least six. So I, on average, I'm getting 21. I would potentially nearly be 66. at 36 and have a five aboard on everything. Which is nutty. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you will see games where they get that really early if their opponent is scared of the mortal wounds. Yes. Yeah. And in games where, like we were saying before, the clan rats are all the one of the best targets to fight because yes. that ability where you get the amount of depravity and, for how many wounds yeah, you yeah. allocate. And I even forgot about that here. I would have gone with this unit, and I think they did four or six damage to Thankful. Yeah. It's so not nothing crazy, but even without the dice, I would have generated another six here. One of the yeah. melee threats. So yeah. against yeah, you killed twelve rats turn one, twelve depravity. So it's like yeah, that certain armies like against a stormcaster. Yeah. Um, Slaves, you're not going to get that as much because yeah. you're not going to kill them anymore. Exactly. You'll have those and, and wounds allocated. That's where I think you will see the last struggle is maybe more of the like elite elite armies? stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Where there's high saves, save stacking. Yeah. You know, even model recursion stuff like that. Because um, yeah. this army's not going to the no four rallies in this book. No. Um, it's not going to. It's not going to survive well in, in the long run. Yeah. Um, but yeah, against man, lower armor. Was, you know what? I have. I have been so excited to play Sinesh and when they released this model range I fell in love with it but yeah, then the rules nice. didn't complement weren't you know. yeah they were well you can say it they were terrible yes <laughs> last edition yeah yeah man I am so excited to be paint, working on this army now like yeah, it is great. such a, it was such a cool play style yeah we talked about a very deep kid ask that yeah similar to how I wanted to play of eels for sure yeah. especially when this was getting surrounded like, yeah, exactly very very, very reminiscent of, of the old eels yeah yes very fast. Yeah. They don't do probably as much damage as AOS two eels, but no, yeah. Still. Only high rend, but only one damage. And but they don't need to charge for the extra for the rend. It's all yeah. the time, so it's nice. The mobility is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah I great. felt like I was just like the storm vermin really, really let me down. Being minus one to hit, and I can't use all at attack because I needed that plus one attack. The minus oh, yeah. one attack on the mirror. Uh, you absolutely spiked a lot of the def the rolls here. Yeah. So it was just like all these things just like added up to just not do anything kind of with the storm vermin. Um, and then on top of that, I, this was pretty much my turn two recap was, yeah. and then failing both of those, a five inch charge. And oh, inch that was completely. Cause that could have killed two crippled, units for sure. Crippled you for this game. Yeah, which was like, oh. Cause and, otherwise, yeah, you kill these two units. Yeah. You're further away from everything. Yeah. Um, he's not did, dying. You did your battle tactic. You're holding this end of the board and I don't have the units to come in and kill you as fast as I did. Yes. Or, or even to get to you as fast. Yeah, so it would have been a, obviously a I, way- I basically maybe take down one of those guys. Yeah. And, and, and then we're into a, you know, a double to kind of, um, you know, see where things go from there. Yeah. And then as well, we didn't talk about but the interactions with the rat ogre, so we didn't say in the recap. So it just always worked out that I didn't have enough CP, yeah. which is something I'm still kind of learning playing different lists. I had only one CP to use for say, to keep them around for inspiring presence, then I can't keep that in case that rat ogre dies. So on a three up, yeah. I can bring them back. So I just, it never worked out where I was able to do that. And I, and I, yeah, just a few different times where that kind of screwed me. And yeah. then I was just like, oh, and then I didn't do any damage to these four who killed that single rat ogre. But I had to use the CP for plus one attack because you, you minus my own attack. Exactly, you really want to be spending them in this army. Like, yeah. you know, whether it's defensively, all the defense, all those things are really big because you're on like so three things. or four is the save can make, that really changes the numbers. The right? minus one to hit really hurt yeah. the Storm Vermin as yeah. well here. Like, because the death frenzy, I was all four, fours and threes for everything, which yeah. is like, yeah, not doing much. Uh, and then one of the other things too, is like, I always want to, and this is a big tip for everyone. If you're higher drop, which even at four or five drops, 
I wanted to be able to do something turn one, knowing you were gonna give me first. Yeah. So when I kind of set up, I was thinking to do the Rat Ogres, whip them and get them in and then charge. So that miscast turn one as well, not yeah. getting Death Frenzy, not getting anything on them, like being able to put them in, Com completely screwed were, my like yeah. turn one plan. So then I was already always gonna be on the back foot because I didn't kill any units in turn one. Yeah. So thank God you didn't get the double back. But even, even though I got priority in turn two, I just couldn't kill enough of your units. So you were still, you just obviously, they're all still here. Yeah. So being have being able to do something in top of one, which yeah. is I always that's an I'm an advocate. Well, not an advocate, but it's one of the best things you can do in this game. And I just didn't. I wasn't able yes. to do anything. Being that giving away first turn can be so strong. Yes. Um, being able to leverage it, whether it's through speed or mobile, whatever, or shooting. Yes. Is often is is super. Which important, I didn't really have. Didn't have the chance here. No bonus is the charge. No shooting. So. Yeah. Yeah. But um, other less final notes, Sigvald, I mean, he did a little bit in combat. No, I would have loved him into thank we'll turn off that ward. Yeah. Um, Painbringers, they, they, I think, can shine in this army because they're the one thing that's really tanky or yeah. potentially really tanky. The three-up save, yeah. You have the great tool to counter them. Yeah. So they never really got to shine, but I think they're a great unit like the rest in the mortal side that got a big glow up. So yeah. super excited about how everything went. And, Obviously, uh, excited to play some more Slanesh in the future. Give Franco back his army and start In painting. a bit, yes. <laughs> Hold on to it for as long as I can. Uh, but guys, I hope you enjoyed that battle report. Don't forget, we'll have another one coming out later this week for our premium members. So if you want to support the channel and get extra content, you can check out our YouTube membership. But that's it for us here tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you soon in another battle report. Have a good week, everyone.